today we wanted to go over the Microsoft Power Platform Power Automate tools, specifically the AI hub and AI models. Uh, from our first, uh, one of our first posts around Automation 3.0, we showed the ability to use Power Automate to monitor an email, extract relative data using the AI document intelligence invoice parsing model. Um, we're not going to go through that today, but all of that data was saved into the Dataverse, and we're going to show how, as you can see here from our examples back in February, um, we had captured a bunch of invoice information. So you can see here status, amounts, vendor information. So if we go in and you go into the new AI hub um, within Power Automate, you can, uh, there's some pre built templates. So you can see here prompts, AI models, document extraction. So what I wanted to do, it was a, a quick prompt. Um, now I've built uh, two here um, using the input variables. It's really easy to use. So as you see here, I created two input variables, invoice number and vendor name. I'm going to show you how you can bring back results from that data set. And you see here, all I'm doing is I'm selecting the database, in this case, the invoice table that I just showed uh, within Power Apps. Um, so we can initiate a response like, please provide the invoice number and vendor name using those input fields of all invoices with a status of pending. Okay, so when I execute that, this is gonna actually return each invoice number and vendor name for each record in the Dataverse. It takes a few seconds for this to return. Okay, and we've selected as one of the outputs here, um, you'll notice JSON, uh, clearly you can see the JSON output. If we said text, it would show you more of a text element. Um, because we're using the input values of invoice number and vendor names, those become key value pairs that you can see here. I'm gonna show you what it looks like without that. Um, as well as in the model, uh, I upgraded to the GPT-4, not that that's gonna impact uh, the the Copilot integration here, um, but if we had to use some of the natural language processing to go out to the internet, then GPT-4 would be of use, but the invoice number and the vendor name for each are returned in a uh, JSON-based format. Now, if I come here and I just do some basic uh, prompting without any inputs, so you can see here, still using the same data source, but no inputs. So what is the total so you'll see here the difference between NLP, natural language processing. What is the total amount of invoices with vendor name hoist? So if I use total amount of invoices, it's going to assume how many counts are there. Okay, so based on the data provided, the total amount of invoices with vendor name is 2,077 and 40. The total is the sum of two invoices, each with amount of 1038. Pretty cool. Uh, now we could also uh, use cumulative type. Uh, so like for instance, what is the total cumulative amount of invoices with status of pending? So here we want to grab the cumulative total of all of the invoices in that data source. So it's just, again, how you're describing the question. So as you see here, it returns essentially all of uh, the invoices associated. And at the bottom here, you'll see adding all these t amounts together is 75,138.92. So not only did it return in the individual invoices, but also return the cumulative amount of all those invoices. All right, so some other things that we can do here. So if you come to, uh, we go back to our AI hub. Here we have a description. Here's where we'll use that upload of that, here, a black and white image of a tiger. Uh, again, maybe it's a wildcat, tiger, close. And as you can see here, we could also do your typical extraction of invoices using the AI builder. Uh, which is now Microsoft Syntax, which can be called directly from a Power Automate script, or uh, like as you've seen in prior examples, we can actually go and grab 
um, invoices from an email and extract that relative information. So as you see here, if I was to bring in this particular invoice, you notice here we can use um, the pre-built model directly in a flow or in an app, uh, Power App, and you can see it extracted all the relative information, no issue, along with line item, or you can create custom models. So the uh, AI builder uh, for document intelligence is here. This is a studio piece. This is typically where we come in and utilize those invoices here. So you can extract and consume these directly from your Azure resources, or you can uh, reduce the need to have to have that separate uh, tenant location and you know basically consume those invoice processing modules directly from the AI hub. And you'll see here premium. Premium means you do need Power Automate Premium licensing, which is $15 per user. Or if you are writing Power Apps, you could go with Power Apps Premium for $20 a month um, if the Power Automate is within the context of a Power App. Thanks. Have a great day, and please like and subscribe for more.